Okay, guys, so let's talk about sound right now. So let's just say we are recording our character and we want to record the character's voice as well. There are two ways of doing this. One way is to record it live, like what I'm doing here right now. I'm speaking live and the character is speaking while I'm speaking. Or we can have it pre-recorded. So let's tackle how we're going to do this first in the live mode, all right? So there is this record button here, this red circle right now. So if you notice on our property section here, we have similar red buttons as well, okay? So basically, whatever, when we hit that record button, whatever we record, okay, everywhere you see this highlighted red um, over here will record as well. Okay, so if you want, we, if you want to focus mainly on the lip sync alone, we can deactivate all of these red hair. And if you notice, while I'm moving, all right, it's not the face is not moving anymore. Whereas if I were to highlight this, okay, it would move. All right, I usually record with the face on. So, all right, okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to record the lip sync so let's get to it okay so the first thing that we do is click that record button there's a countdown hello everyone my name is george it is a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck Okay, so you can either stop your recording by pressing the space bar or you hit that record button again or you hit that stop button. If you notice, guys, some inputs have come in here automatically after you stop that recording. We have the sound waves. Let me zoom on this on the timeline. Okay, we have the sound waves. And we have the face because we were recording the face as well. And we have the lip sync. Now, under the lip sync, we have the vizimis. Okay. Some people say vizimis. Some people say vizimis. All right. As you can see, guys, when, if you have to open your Photoshop um, folder, your Photoshop file, you will see your vizimis in your mouth folder. All right, so here they are all here. And this is the importance of the Vizimis is that they match. The computer is trying to match the Vizimis to the sound which comes from your, your input, from your microphone. All right, so it's, it's there. So in the spaces where there's no sound, you'll get this block here. So if you were to listen. My name is George. It is a pleasure to help you learn character animator. Good luck. Okay, so if you, you can also see, guys, that some of the Vizimis are not precise. For example, let me zoom in on this here. Good luck. Okay, we're seeing, we're hearing good luck, but we're not seeing the L, the L in there. So what we can do, we can actually right, right click on the Vizimi, all right? And then we're going to hit on that L or that TH right there. So now it's going to replace it. Good luck. Okay, we're going to see that good luck. So with the luck, it's not, it's not the UH we've seen here. We've seen the W, so let's just fix that. So let's go on the R. Uh. So good. Good luck. Okay, and then we can actually replace it with some luck, 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 luck. So we can probably add the D or the S in there because it's a consonant. Good luck. All right. Okay. So as you can see, guys, you could make adjustments to the voice um, if needed. All right. To make it more accurate. Now, this is the first way of doing that. Now, the second way of doing that is by using your pre-recorded um, voiceovers. For example, I did a voiceover previously in Adobe um, Audition. So we are going to use a pre-recorded voiceover done in Adobe Premiere. Um, sorry, an Adobe Audition. Okay, so what we're going to do is to drag this sound here from a folder that I created. You drag it on here. So we actually see that there is a recording. 
and there's a sound wave by this one here so we have recording two right here okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab this from our project panel here and we're just gonna drag it onto our timeline as you can see the sound wave is already there all right so if you were to play this over look at what happens hello guys my name is george and i'm a character created by your professor tutor ted sandiford it's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck okay guys so we see that nothing happened nothing happened here because um his mouth wasn't moving he himself wasn't moving so what was the problem the problem here is that the pre-recorded voiceover that we put in there on the timeline is not synced with our character so to do this what we need to do is to go into timeline right get into your pull down menu and you will compute lip sync take with scene audio okay so we have our lip sync take and we have the scene audio right there and what we're going to do we're going to click on that and then we are going to it's a short clip so all right so let us redo this let's okay. see what's going on here now i'm going to play it over hello guys my name is george and i'm a character created by your professor tutor ted sandiford it's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck okay guys so you see that once you sync it you'll get that voice synchronization right there all right so when we are going to record all right notice that he was standing still as it synced right so when we hit record again let's make sure now this is something that you have to do since you're using your pre-recorded voice over your mic has to be off when you're recording okay make sure that your mic is off and then what we can do while it's playing record let's go hello guys my name is george and i'm a character created by your professor tutor ted sandiford it's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck okay so as we see here guys okay notice that our character isn't talking right now because <laughs> the mic is off okay so i did it back on all right so we see here if we were to play this again we will see that a car our character moves as we are speaking because we recorded that hello guys my name is george and i'm a character created by your professor tutor ted sandiford it's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck okay guys so as you have learned we have used our voiceovers and in our next tutorial we are going to cover some acting where we are going to use our triggers in a combination with our voiceovers to give our character some more life okay so let's get into that